All right, and welcome back to Learning to Draw. Lesson number three, where I attempt to learn to draw, and maybe you follow along with me. Hopefully, if you do, you learn something too. With that, I will be combining lessons four and five, and you can draw in 30 days. I guess they're nearly identical, both dealing with a box. One just slightly more advanced with the other. With that, let's begin. So at first, it has us drawing two dots across from each other then about the middle it says to use a finger but that doesn't really convert well to my tablet especially since I have to hold it with one hand so I am just going to guesstimate right about there right about there but don't want them as wide as this is long because we want it foreshortened and then we are going to bring our line from this dot to that dot. And I got that a lot straighter than I thought I would. All right. Then again, this way. So one, two. Uh, let's see. Undo that. Try that again. I'm not trying to get it perfect. We're not expecting to. Then from here up, and then I want to pull it because I always find pulling them a little bit easier. Not quite on the dot, but we're getting good enough. And we can make corrections. Okay. Third line, we got a little foreshortened, disoriented square. Hmm. Well, we got a shadow this end anyway, so let's see if we can't. And we'll just redo it. Erase. The mechanical pencil. That yeah, looks better. Alright, so now that it's squished, we are going to do two lines one on each side going straight ish down. And I think that looks about good. We want about the same distance over here. see I am going to grab me a ruler put it on the bottom so I can get approximately where I need to go there we go and then the one in the middle we actually want to make a little bit longer Okay, that looks good. Then since this one went this way, we want to flow this over to here to kind of connect these corners. And we're going to do the same thing, but I am going to pull this one. And that does not look good. You know what? Let's try pushing. That actually looked a lot better. Well, this side will be shaded in so that it's all right with that little bit of overlap. And next would be the shading. So let's just take this and then real lightly kind of see if we can get a little letter gray going now what if we use a different pencil that's a little darker we want it to go a little lighter let's get it lighter than that erase this real quick 
the uh, uh, there we go. Whoa, that's dark. How do you go? So dark set on. Let me control this one. I'm going to smudge this around because the smudge tool makes it a lot easier. That is really, really big. Yeah, nice and lighten that up. I'm still not used, if you can't tell, to doing this on digital. I've done this on pencil and paper, and I, it's a lot easier for me if you're doing it. I imagine it would be for you too. And now let's go a little bit darker because this is going to be the hard shadow down here. We're just going to go straight ish out. And just over, over, over. And for smudging, if you're doing this by hand, I rolled up a piece of paper. And with that, I was able to take a piece of tape, make me a nice little smudging tool by myself, or maybe a piece of glue if you have it. But you can also use, just use your finger or put a piece of tissue paper on your finger for it. All right. Now, this is actually the end of lesson two, so let's skip ourselves ahead because we won't be doing the bonuses we're going to be making an open box which means we're probably going to have to do some erasing actually okay so we want our mechanical pencil again and we're going to go basically right from here We need darker. Why are you not working? There we go. Alright, so we're going to go up. And up. And bring it across. Probably should go a little longer than that. So we... Up, up, bring it across, and we are going to do basically the same thing for the this side. Up, that was way off on the return stroke. Up, <laughs> and bring it across. Okay, so here's where we're probably going to end up doing a little erasing. Bring this one down. Down. And bring it across. And again. Down. Down. And bring it across. This way we got flaps. And I have had boxes with their flaps looking that bad. I don't know about you, but I've seen plenty of them. So we're going to go ahead and erase all this. Because we don't need it. Or at least as much as we can without messing everything up. That's close enough. I don't think I could get any closer without erasing the new lines I just put down. So, with that, we need our pencil. So, since we did the shadows over here, we want to assume we're up here is our light, meaning that the inside of the box actually. 
We need another line. Nope. We need one going down, 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 down. This way the box looks like it's got a little depth to it. I completely missed that step. Alright. Now we need the other pencil. Need dark shadows under here. Maybe a little bit. Wider than and over here, a little bit under here. This way it looks like it disappears that way. It'll probably be looking at the lesson gonna be darkest right about here and grab our mechanical pencil and we're just gonna fill it with little packing peanut stuff so we're just gonna fill a bunch of really really bad circles in here it'll look like it's got a little bit of something in it put it a little more around there so we don't have to worry about erasing that line I put down the middle I might have did that a little prematurely oh yeah and then Back to here, and we are going to want a very light gray to just go above here. And then we will resize the drawing tool for this. Let's try this. Kind of make this a little easier to maneuver. There we go. I want to take this. I think we smudged our one line a little bit. That's okay. It happens. Then do the rest in here. Kind of give it a good, nearly fading. Yeah, because after that it gets really light the yellow doesn't help me offset much but we'll get it going and that is box number uh, lesson number two and three for our box and this up a little bit in here too because that kind of sticks out a little too much we want it darker but we don't want it pitch black and yeah, not great but I am definitely improving hopefully you are too with that I hope you've had a good day Hope you enjoyed this lesson learning along with me and for in farewell.